This is River City Hardball presented by DBAT Jacksonville, and what a pleasure it is to welcome in a few guys from the University of North Florida. The head coach is Joe Mercadante and a grad student in his fifth year, and he's a local guy from Ponte Vedra. Tony Roca coming off a complete game shutout against the Stetson Hatters on Sunday. Guys, thanks so much for jumping on with us tonight. Coach Mercadante, how are you doing this evening, and uh, what, a, what a year that Tony Roca's had for you. Talk about what kind of season that Tony's had for you on the mound. Uh, I mean, you can't say enough good things about what Tony's meant to us and what he's done for us this year on the mound. You know, here's a guy that didn't come off the best year last year, has a whole new coaching staff, a whole new, um, you know, culture that we're trying to build and didn't really know what he was getting into coming into his last season. And and he's done nothing but work, put his head down, um, get himself better each and every day. He's been out there try to try to bring the young guys along with them, show them what it looks like to work hard. And, you know, as a coach, it's always just a, a really cool thing when you see somebody commit themselves and devote themselves to to just the daily grind of getting a little bit better each day. And Tony has done that since we started in the fall. And, you know, he's not one of those guys that rests on his accomplishments. He gets back at it, you know, after the game on Sunday, he's back in there on Monday morning getting after it again. So it's really cool to see a guy do things the right way and uh, get rewarded for it. Tony, you just pitched your first complete game against Stetson on Sunday. That was a shutout for you. How did that feel? Uh, you know, it's nice. Um, the longest I've gone in a game since I think it was my sophomore year or junior year against uh, JU at home. Um, so it was nice to go far in, in a game like that and complete a game there, especially a shutout, a game that we really needed to win, especially against Stetson. Top Tony. team in our uh, conference. Absolutely. Stetson's a really good team. Hey, hey, Tony, when you pitch a complete game like that, you threw 135 pitches, the most you've ever thrown in a game. How does your body feel? How do you, how do you feel after a 135 nine-inning game? Um, I was actually just talking to uh, some of the other pitchers about it in, in the locker room after uh, workouts. I mean, it's pretty much just – it's the same as throwing like 85 or past the, th the threshold of 100 or something like that. Your body's already in this state of – in motion stuff and and once you throw that many pitches it's like all right just keep on going until the job's done especially with the adrenaline um that you have especially like past like the i think it was the sixth or seventh inning i struck out the side it was the adrenaline just kicked in and I mean, there's no real difference for me between 100 and 135 pitches and stuff like that coach when you have a guy that's rolling like he was in a, in a game like that and he's over 100 pitches, were you thinking in the back of your mind, come on, Tony, i got to get some more out of you, or do I need to get some guys up in the pen, or, or this is going to be a Tony all the way game? No, you, you certainly, anytime you get above 100, you, you start, you know, having those those thoughts and, and those talks with the pitching coach. And um, But you go back and you look at the game, it was really, he kind of breezed through it. He didn't have super high leverage extended innings. He didn't have too many extended rests on, on the bench. Um, but it kind of goes back to knowing the person too. I think a hundred pitches is different for each person. There's not another person out there that works as hard as Tony does uh, in terms of strengthening recovery, um, doing the things he needs to do day in, day out. So if there's one guy that's built for it, especially on our staff, it's Tony. Um, but we had some guys ready in the eighth inning and, you know, the guy's out there and he's actually hitting higher VLOs with his fastball in the eighth inning and the ninth inning than he did in the third and the fourth. So a part of that's the adrenaline, but part of that's just showing that his body was, was in good position and, and, was ready to, to keep going. I, I was having the conversations with myself as we started the ninth, like, what am I going to say to Tony to go out there if I have to take him out when he gets, you know, uh, up to 140 because I, we weren't going to go past that. Um, but luckily we didn't have to get there because my man get, got the job done when he needed to. Tony, coach just talked about your work ethic and how hard you work. Coach Tom Stanton, your coach at Ponte Vedra, told me the same thing when I texted him earlier tonight. He said, Tony works so hard and he's so competitive. Where does that come from? Where does that work ethic and that uh, competitive, competitiveness come from for you, Tony? Um, honestly, um, it kind of just started when I was younger. I was playing so much baseball and stuff, and uh, I would look at other major leaguers and guys the way they worked in the offseason and stuff. And I was actually just talking to one of my teammates today about uh, the, uh, the Nolan Ryan book that I read when I was younger, and I saw, like, how much – in depth he went into and I was just like wow this is this is great and it kind of gave me some inspiration and stuff and 
but 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 it really uh fell back on seeing other guys and uh watching tv and stuff the mlb and stuff and watching guys work and stuff to see spring training all that stuff like that and, you know it just gave me a drive and you know that's that's what i've been doing for the past pretty much four years and stuff four or five years in college baseball working hard tony as a left-handed pitcher is there anybody, whether it be college, major league level, anybody over the course of your career that you've modeled your game after? Um, not specifically anyone. Um, just whenever I get a chance, I always I'm always watching baseball. Um, like after this, I'll try and see if there's an MLB game on either MLB Network or just scroll through the channels. And if not, I'll just go on ESPN Plus and see if I can find something on there. Uh, but I really just like to watch pitchers and stuff and watch the way they work. And, uh, you know, it just, it's baseball is fun. So, I mean, try to, try to keep it fun, but also try to try to stay focused on the goals of trying to, trying to go further and uh, do well for the, for the sprays. Tony Roca, Joe Mercadante from the university of North Florida here with us on river city hardball presented by D bat jacks. Coach Mercadante, does does Tony remind you of anybody that you've seen over your career you, that you've coached? Anybody come to mind when you when you look at what Tony does for you? You know, it's tough because you don't see too many left handers with the profile of Tony. Just because a lot of those times you got a guy that's got a really good changeup. Well, Tony has a split, you know, and or the fastball's got some arm side run. Well, his has a little right. So it, it, there's not a great comp, but he's just that that bulldog that you know, regardless of the situation, um, he's kind of unflappable. He's going to give you everything he's got. And um, Tony's just Tony. I've known Tony for so long and seen him grow up. I've, you know, coached him when he was younger, coached against him when I was at Stetson and now having the opportunity to be his head coach. I I just see Tony as Tony, and, and I'm really thankful each and every day he's pitching for me now. Tony, you've just been named the A-Sun Pitcher of the Week, and this is not the, the first time this has happened. This has happened to you before. What does it mean to be named the A-Sun Pitcher of the Week? Oh, well, you know, it's great. Um, I, I just I say it all the time, to, especially my dad, like, let's keep it going. Let's keep keep the grind going, and we're not done until the, the end of the year or the end of the season or whenever I get done pitching. Coach, when you see an honor like that for Tony, what does that mean to you? It, it's it's just again it goes back to in this game it, it's such a tough game and there's so many failures that you know sometimes you go where guys really work hard and they don't get recognized and you see a guy that pours himself into it and commits himself like Tony it's just really really cool to see a guy get recognized for those things and and Tony's one of those guys that certainly didn't need the award but it's really nice for the recognition I think it just again kind of, you know, reinforces the the, the belief in, in how much that he commits himself to what he does and how much he 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 means to our team and, and the way he goes out there every day, uh, whether it's a, a day he's pitching or it's a bullpen day or it's a practice day, like he's going to go out there and he's going to focus. He's going to get himself better. And it's one of those things that's infectious. It, it, it helps the guys around him. So it's just it's awesome. A couple notes on Tony Roca, courtesy of UNF. First complete game of your career, the third game with at least seven strikeouts, also the fourth game this season with at least five innings pitched and no earned runs allowed. Tony, man, you've been spinning some gems out there. Uh, do you have a favorite game? Was it this one, the, the complete game shutout? Do you have a favorite performance that you've had this year? Um, Probably, I, I, I got to say this game. Um, it, it was nice, again, at, uh, at Queens, you know, First conference uh, weekend. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was first conference weekend. Going up there, sweeping them at their place, and uh, throwing pretty pretty well up there. And uh, yeah, but I got I got to say it was this weekend, of course, for the first CG of college career. Coach, you uh, you actually had an opportunity to coach Tony when he was a young guy, 13 years old, for the Central Florida Gators. Uh, coach, first with you, what do you remember about Tony back then? Well, it, it's funny you talk about the work ethic. I think one of the one of the the most you know things that pops into my head, my most vivid memory is is Tony pitching a game when he was thirteen or whatever age he was, and my man gets done on the mound, and I look in the dugout, and next thing I look up, and he's running poles in between games. He's got to get his running in after he threw, and um, you know, and Tony, what was it? Chocolate milk? Dad always wanted you to drink too after your workouts. Yeah, it was always chocolate milk. That was the big thing. See? Yeah, like mm -hmm. he he had it already. Then it was it was ingrained in him. It started with his father, and and 
it's one of those things he built a routine and he built his discipline at an early age and it's carried him to this point. But yeah, it was always a hard worker and a competitor. So it, it's really cool to see him what he's turned into now for sure. I remember when I played, oh boy, I dreaded those poles. Please, don't, <laughs> please not, let, don't let us run poles today, but Hey, you embrace that though. That's for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, Tony, t- tell me about your dad because we've mentioned your dad a few times. What has your dad meant to you over the course of your career? Um, probably one of the most influential people in my life, of course. Um, you know, living at home still, being close to UNF, it's I see him every day and we talk about baseball every day. We talk about everything every day. So it's it's I'm great to have a, a set of parents in general, my my mom and dad and my sister, of course. Um, just great to have a family as as great as them. So I'm thankful for them, of course. Tony, obviously, it was a it was a tough transition um, this year with um, Coach Parenton and now Coach Mercadante now being your coach. Um, you you stuck with this program for the entirety of your career. You're a grad student at UNF. Did you have any um, you know concerns about where the program was going? Did you have confidence under Coach Mercadante? You've had a history, a history with him, but coming into this year, not now going through what what obviously was a tough situation with Coach Parenton. Um, how did you feel about coming into this year? Um, I was actually kind of excited, especially when I got the phone call from uh, Coach Merck. I was at the gym uh, working out, and uh, I was I was glad to talk to him, and I was glad to hear that he, he was going to be the head coach. And uh, once I found out who the assistant coaches were, and I met them and stuff, and especially Petrosky, and he spewed his knowledge on me, and I was like, "Wow, this guy's this guy's locked in." Like, even from the the first day I met Petrosky. And uh, no, I'm ha- happy they're my coaches, of course, especially for my uh, my fifth year. Well, and Coach Merck, I mean, you to to inherit a guy like Tony, a guy that you've known for years and coached for years, you had to feel great about having him in your program to start out year one. Absolutely, yeah. It always starts with pitching. So you, you take over a roster, you don't know much, but you knew a couple names on there, and you felt good that you were going to have a couple couple guys on the weekend, and obviously Tony being a big part of that. So you felt pretty confident knowing that you had a, a good start and uh, was just trying to to build around him. And, and obviously, like I said, the biggest thing now is, is Tony's you know teaching those that are around him, and that's that's a big thing is is he influences those around him and make him a better person. Tony, you're winding down your career at UNF as a grad student. What has your career and what's been your time at UNF with baseball been like for you? How would you describe the time as an Osprey? Oh, I think it's been great. Um, even going from uh, my freshman year when we got cut short uh, because of COVID and going into summer ball, playing up in the Northwoods League, great experience up there. Played there two years in a row and been at UNF my whole career and UNF's kind of just been my, my home pretty much especially since it's 25 minutes away from from Ponte Vedra where I grew up and stuff and you know it's just it was it's been a good home for me and glad to glad to be an Osprey of course final moment or two with Tony Roca coach Joe Mercadante from UNF Tony you mentioned Ponte Vedra you, you played for Tom Stanton with the Sharks favorite memory from high school do you have something that brings uh right to the forefront of your mind from Ponte Vedra um, not necessarily. I just, um, I, I'm just happy, honestly, C- coach Stan got a good foundation for, uh, for us baseball players and stuff. And, um, trying to think of a game, uh, oh, it could, could have been the, uh, the bowls game. I think my, it was my junior year. Uh, we beat them. This is going back a while now. Um, I put you on the spot with this one, so it's okay. Yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> now we beat them. I think it was seven to four, and uh, I thought I hit a grand slam that game. Um, and uh, you know it was a big game because Bulls such a powerhouse of the school, a private school, and I think I pitched as well, and uh, I think I threw like one or two innings and did pretty well. And I think that was probably like the one of our one of my best uh, memories of. Of, of the game at uh at Palm Beach High School. Do you still drink chocolate milk after you work out? Uh, no, not really. I've kind of like cleaned up the uh the diet the, a little bit, especially yeah. since the the uh, the chocolate milk nowadays is kind of uh it's all sugary. It's got yeah. got some bad bad uh bad carbs in it. Not not a not a priority in refueling after a workout. 
Tony, what's your what's your future? I mean, do you do you think that baseball will be a future for you after college? What do you what are you thinking about it? Oh, of course. I mean, I, I want an opportunity to play further. Um, I just really enjoy, like Coach Merck said, the daily grind of it. It's just always been a part of me, pretty much. And you know, I just want an opportunity to play further and stuff. And I love the daily grind. And you guys obviously have a season to finish out, Coach. But how do you mm-hmm. see the future of of Tony Roca? You know, beyond UNF, uh, how do you see his future? I think Tony's certainly a young man who should get an opportunity to play professional baseball. And you know, when we get to that point, um, you know, obviously we'll exhaust every avenue we have as a coaching staff members to make sure he gets that opportunity because um, he's a guy that's worked for it. He's got the right mentality. He's got the right work ethic, and um, I certainly hope he has that opportunity to keep playing. Coach, you guys have uh, only a handful of series left in the regular season. Kennesaw State coming up this week. Uh, tell me about the series coming up uh, around Atlanta. Uh, they're all they're all big ones from here on out. There's there's not one that matters more than the other, but it's it's another uh, series against an opponent that's at the top half of our conference. So um, you know we're in a good position where we can go in there and and we kind of control our destiny. We talk about it all the time. Um, we're going to keep playing good baseball teams, but we got to focus on on what we're doing. Uh, and controlling the things that we can control. But um, they're going to be a great challenge. They're very talented. They've got some physical guys offensively. they got some some dynamic arms on the on the pitching staff. But, um, you know, it's it's another team that, uh, again, we're going to have a good opportunity to win some ball games if we just play play the game we know how. Tony, how are you approaching this weekend start against Kennesaw? Just another weekend of pitch and get the job done and execute. I mean, it's – Coach Petrosky said in the dugout today, it's – pitch our way and you know get the job done and it's just another weekend for us to uh to, to try and dominate tony roca is pitching to a really uh 255 era leading the ospreys and team era just came off his first complete game a complete game shutout against the top ranked conference opponent stetson a two nothing win on sunday to close out that weekend series Tony, what a terrific season that you've had so far this year, the season that continues. Congratulations on winning A-Sun Pitcher of the Week for the second time this year and uh, continued success going forward. Okay, my man? Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me on. Coach Mercadante, thanks so much for your time, and uh, best of luck moving forward for UNF, okay? Thanks, Andrew. Appreciate you.